We've just picked up our Pedal Fish 10 kayak from Sea Kayaks and today we're going to spend some time just fitting it out with uh, a few bits and pieces. The first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of uh, reinforcing to where the rear seat support sits. This is just going to help to more evenly distribute uh, the weight uh, of myself uh, and we'll show you how we're going to do that. So we've obtained a one metre strip of uh, aluminium from Bunnings. We've cut two 270ml pieces and uh, we've just applied a bead of liquid nails to one surface. We're going to use the instant contact method where we will push this down onto the hull, remove it, let it partially dry uh, for about five minutes and then fix it back firmly in place. Now we're going to uh, countersink the screws to the uh, steering lever plate. I believe this is something that uh, is being addressed by the manufacturer with the next model. So now we have it all nicely countersunk, just giving a neat and clean finish. And our chair supports also have uh, now gone off very, very nicely. So now you can just get an overview on, uh, on what we have done there with these aluminium strips. The P10 is configured for tiller steering. That is, as you move the lever left, the craft will go right and vice versa. To reset it up for direct steering means crossing the cables. So what we've done is just enclose the cables in a bit of clear plastic tubing so that there is no friction at the crossover point. And now it will actually steer in the direction that the lever is positioned. Our next task will be to mount our sounder. We have elected to mount the transducer inside the hull using the shoot through hull method. I believe this is the best because it gets it out of the way from any potential damage or snags and just keeps everything nice, neat and orderly. So we'll show you how we do that. We have here a knee pad that we purchased from Bunnings for around $10. It's made from high density foam. This is going to do the job very nicely to make a support for our transducer to be able to mount it firmly in the hull. Firstly, use a marker to trace around uh, the outline of the transducer. Using our multi-tool, we will now cut out the block that we've just marked. So now here we have the completed mounting block. Okay, so we've drilled a hole in the hull large enough to take the connector from the transducer to the uh, screen of the sounder. Of course, this cord actually needs to come through from the other side. To do this, I'm going to use a piece of clear plastic tube wide enough to grip the end of the plug and draw it through the hole that we've just cut. To do this like so. Now to get the screw coupling, I've just carefully using a pair of pliers and we pop it through the hole and we now have our entire assembly. We're going to use a railblazer mounting system. I'm going to use the base plate so that I keep uh, penetration into the craft to a minimum. Just going to drill a couple of pilot holes. Like so. So we're just going to apply some cellies uh, all clear to the, uh, to the base plate. seal like so just plug those holes up ready to drill it in okay so now we add our cap we pop on the rail blazer mount using the uh, soft tapping screws provided just pop those into our pilot holes Simply gently screw them into place. Being very careful not to uh, over tighten. Well, there we have it, one railblazer mount. So, to mount our transducer, we just apply some uh, cellies all clear to the bottom uh, of our foam block. So, there we have it, 
Then we simply take the block and we mount that, press it firmly onto the uh, flat section of the hull inside the kayak. Like so. We then begin to fill the entire block up with Sally's All Clear. And the idea is we want to get a good thick coating but no air bubbles. Very important that we have no air bubbles. So there we see the uh, foam block now filled with uh, Sally's All Clear. I'm just going to work that into place, tap it to make sure there's no uh, air bubbles and then we will insert the transducer into that mould. The hole through the hull for the cable with Sally's all clear and we've mounted our Lowrance sounder on a Railblazer flat plate mounted onto the starport. We've also put a second one in to mount our smartphone which will also have our GPS and marine maps capability. Now we're going to run our power from our 7 amp hour battery that is mounted in our crate. We're going to run that through the hull. So we've run our cable through to a terminal block, we've already mounted the sounder into the terminal block and uh, we have a couple of uh, spare terminals there that we will run the uh, power for the, uh, the phone, for the USB cable uh, into later on. Uh, and I'm just going to mount that terminal block inside the hull simply using a little bit of uh, liquid nails. And so there we see the terminal block now mounted like so. Take a few moments to just look over our custom built crate. The crate itself was uh, bought from Bunnings for around $35. I liked it because it uh, had a, a lid, a huge lid uh, with it, to which as you've noted I've attached a 10 watt uh, solar panel. It fits absolutely beautifully. Inside the solar panel is charging our 7 amp hour 12 volt battery. I've decided to actually use a 240 volt uh, plug for our 12 volt out. The reason being it has a low profile into the uh, crate itself, it's not taking up room. Uh, it's, it's switched so we can switch the electrics to the uh, appliances on the craft uh, on and off very easily. Of course internally it's made from brass so it's going to be quite resistant to uh, salt water and weather uh, and so forth. Uh, the rod holders and uh, accessory holders and so forth, well that's simply a PVC plumbing pipe and uh, electrical conduit and uh, we've made that and put that together in the usual way as most of you uh, likely have done. So that'll be tucked behind our seat and that's going to be powering the electrics uh, on our craft. The safety pole, we just have a flag mounted there. Right now I simply have a solar garden light. That's actually quite effective but I will replace that uh, later on with a uh, LED 12 volt white all round or anchor light. Well, it's been a long day, but finally it's time to get this beast wet. Notice we have our 12 volt power all hooked up and uh, working just fine. The sounder that we uh, installed uh, earlier today appears to be working very nicely. Along with our phone GPS holder, we've uh, popped in a, a couple of uh, swivel rod holders and you see the pedal drive ready to go. Sure beats paddling. The project's come together very very nicely. So the Paddlefish 10 by Sea Kayaks, it's the goods. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll uh, get to take it out and uh, give it its first sea trials. <laughs>